Hey everybody, Skyrolink here. Welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we got through pretty much half of... Actually, I think it looked like technically in terms of star-wise, uh, or shines-wise. Thankfully, I didn't say shine or shrine. <gasps> Bro, I'm in the window. I believe if I squirt water. Oh. Well, actually, hold on. Oh, it gives you a coin. Okay. Yeah, you squirt the windows, you get yourself a free coin. Not bad. Um... Yeah, last time we pretty much did all of, not all of, but like most, half of, more specifically, half of uh, Gelato Beach. We got kind of spoiled for events to come. Toad is freaking the heck out. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to go back to Gelato Beach to do some pretty, pretty good levels. Set one. I'm pretty sure you all know which one that is. Alright, but we'll save that for when it's time. Episode 5, Il Piantissimo Sand Sprint. Let me tell you, man. Il Piantissimo. This man is a living legend. We get here. We're all just chilling. We're going to think that this is just going to be a good time. And then we got this man here. I am Il Piantissimo. And now we shall race to that flag. We're going to the flag. We're going to the flag. It is a race to the finish flag, and only one can triumph. By the way, the current record is 35 seconds. Are you at the ready? Then get set and go. So yeah, we got a little bit of a race. Think of this as like Koopa the Quick, but with the Pianta. Um, there is some um, uh, stuff I would like to say about Yo Pianta in the moment, but we gotta beat this man in the race, the big race. So we're going to do that real quick. That's 35 seconds, and we are done. Yeah, easy race. Easy, easy race. Oh yeah, um, we got these uh, yellow like little things that remind us of our good friend the red coin little spawner things. And uh, basically those, they just spawn coins. Loads and loads of coins. Very helpful for something later. We have to say you'll kill this small. Real high, you are pretty good. You have some speed. You have grown ever so slightly me in my esteem. Slightly. We will meet again. And goodbye. Something tells me this won't be the last time we'll see our good friend Il Piantissimo. But, let's not dwell on that. What do you have to say? That is all I wanted to say. Now away with you. Be gone. Um, fun tr fact about uh, Il Piantissimo. Um, his model is actually... Uh, I'll put a picture on right now. Uh, his model is actually the running man from uh, Super Mario... Not Super Mario, no. From uh, Ocarina of Time and the Postman in Majora's Mask. Funny how my series connect each other, you know? It's kind of funny how things kind of turn out. Um, whatever. Let's just go grab ourselves our Shine Sprite and be done with this level. So yeah, starting off easy. Starting off easy. Safe. I just realized I don't think I saved the last recording, so if this recording flops, we're in trouble. Because I'm going to have to redo everything. <laughs> That's not good. Let's pray that things go well. Mario did the plank. Alright, Jalala Beach, episode 6. Red coins in the coral reef. People say this level's annoying. I don't think it's that annoying. I mean, I can kind of see why, but we'll, we'll go over it. By the way, I think this is the only world where we have not actually gotten the nozzles yet. Uh, as for where the turbo nozzle spawns, I can safely say that the rocket nozzle. Oh, they don't spawn there either. Unless they don't show up till later, unless there's there other other locations that I am not aware of at the current moment. Um, oh yeah, there there's the rocket nozzle right there. Our good pal, Mr. Rocket Nozzle. He's doing fine. Anyway, you're probably wondering, Skyward Link, where is this coral reef of yours? Um, good question. I actually do not know where the coral reef is. Also, this is one part we haven't checked out. Looks like we got ourselves a little bit of a nice little place, and we think that this is the coral reef. We can't get in there. No, we're gonna get shredded to pieces if we try. Looks like that's gonna be used for something later. No, the coral reef is right here. By the way, good attention to detail. I think we got something to go over there. Hmm. Hmm. What could this mean? What could any of this possibly mean? We'll have to wait and find out. Anyway, for the red coins, they are going to be all over in this coral reef. If you can see clearly, um, actually, I'm going to grab this one over here because these are the ones that are annoying. 
the one the red coins that are connected to the fish and like move with the fish although I think it's a cool idea I can see it's getting on some people's nerves I can totally see it so there's three we're doing pretty good so far nothing nothing horrible uh, red coin number four is right here um that per pink fish over there that fish will eat the crap out of us not like insta kill like big bertha and like the old Mario games but uh I think I'll like hinder movement and hey look red coin a good example of why it's annoying yep it's going through the freaking wall we can't do anything about it we can't anticipate it's meeting or where it's going to pop out um red coin number five Red coin number six, are you anywhere? I, red coin number six is with the fish, but like, you know what I mean. Oh, there it is. We can catch it. We can catch it before it's too late. Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Actually, it wasn't in any threat to be lost. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, God, please. Grab it. Grab. Grab red coin. Grab red coin. Coin of destiny. Get over here. Stop moving. Stop it. You know what you're doing, red coin. Stop. It's literally beyond the boundary. I can't even grab it. I'm drowning. I was literally drowning to get this red coin. It's funny how it acts like a fish. Come on, get back here. Get back here, you stupid coin. Oh my god, okay, fine. Fine, be that way. I'm sorry I separated you from your fish friends, but I mean, come on, red coin, I need you. Don't be like that, fine, I'll come back for you later then. Red coin number six. Um, I just did this in like five seconds on my old file. Why, why am I having trouble? Oh, there it is. There's red coin number six. If I can grab it. There we go. At least this coin doesn't run away like some other coin. Yeah, I'm freaking salty about that. Silly coin. Actually, you know what? No, I can't be too hard on red coin. Red coin, the OG number six, was he was just having a bad day. Where is the soundtrack coin? Where is it? Am I stupid? Is it right here? Yep, it's right here. Okay. All right. We have the one that was misbehaving. Where is he? Oh, he's right there. He's right here. Red coin. You will be mine. Stop it. Stop fighting your destiny. Where did you go? Oh, oh, there he is. Son of a gun. What is with this coin? What is the deal? What happened to Illumination Studios to make them do this to me? Maybe I gotta take a, a, calm, a calm approach. Let's take a calm approach. Approaching the coin. Please! Please, just grab it. Grab the coin. There we go! That took way longer than it needed to. Way longer. Way, way longer. I could have cut some of that out. If it wasn't funny, I mean, I, I was telling the lore of the freaking red coin. Oh well, they just gotta drag out the episode because I was trying to conserve my energy for the big one. The big, the big episode everyone's waiting for. You know it's not the next one because we all know what every episode 7 is all about. We all know. But you're gonna have to wait. Yes, I'm talking about episode 8. If I'm not complaining about episode 7, then it's gotta be episode 8. You're probably wondering, what's so bad about episode 8? Well, uh, you'll, you'll see. It's got something to do with that blender. Yes, it's a blender, not a shredder. Well, maybe it could be a shredder. Whatever, that's not the point. Gelato Beach, episode 7. It's Shadow Mario after him. I swear, at this rate, we're gonna have, like, God dang it, it's Shadow Mario again. We're gonna have to catch this man. Yep. Just like usual, it's in our Shadow Mario stage, so it's pretty simple. You just chase after him, spray the crap out of this man. Uh, this one I can actually say I did a, a, a thing, a funny thing. I actually lost track of him once, and I spent like a good two minutes trying to find him. I don't think the stage is that hard in particular. Oh yeah, bees. Bees are a thing. Oh, oh Mr. Shadow Mario. Did I lose him? No, he's right down here. God dang, I keep on bumping into this man. This man. Have you seen this man? Which is essentially Mario and Sunshine in a nutshell. This man is running in circles. Out. Stop it, bees. Yeah, the bees will attack you if you're not careful. Die, 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 Shadow Mario. I love your character arc, but please die. 
No more. No more Shadow Mario. No more. Your time is over. Your reign is soon to be done. Okay, I got him. He bumped into me, though. Alright. <laughs> Dang it, this ain't over. I accidentally dropped my controller. Not not from a far distance, just like right. I just kind of like flipped it over, so it's not even like a drop. I flipped it. I, it's called controller flip. It's called throwing controllers. That's what it is. No. Alright, I think shine number 30 is going to be the big one. The big kahuna. The big one everyone's been talking about. By the way, um, in terms of how many shines there are, I don't think I've mentioned this. Uh, Mario is just giving us all these sick moves, bro. Proud of this man. Um, there are 120 shines to collect, which means that after this mission, we will be, or after this episode, we will be officially one-fourth of the way done with this game. Episode 8, the Watermelon Festival. Here it comes. Here it comes. I have a history with this level. This level will either give me an easy time, I'll do it in one shot, no problem, or we will be here for an hour. No, I'm kidding, I don't think I've had to do it for an hour. Maybe the most I've done is like 30 minutes. So essentially, you're gonna want a watermelon. There are watermelons all over the place. Um, you don't want these. You do not want these watermelons. Trust me on this. You do not want the watermelons. So watermelon. So you notice that there's a bunch of cataclysms, like a whole lot more than usual. There's a reason for this. And I'm getting chased. I'm getting chased by the cataclysm. Uh, yeah, we got a little one of these sprouty things. We can form some stairs. You don't. I never really do this, but I mean, if you want to, I just want to show that you can. So the watermelon we're looking for is up here. What makes this level so bad? First of all. The watermelon is stingy as crap. The physics on this thing are like all jank, and I swear to god, I think we're gonna do this in one shot. Um, actually I'm gonna play it safe, so screw you. That's how you take care of cataplax. Heads up, you can just, uh, wet them with your face. Well, not your face, but you can wet them with your nozzle. And, uh, yeah. Holy crap, this game was generous today. I did this in one shot, unless I screw it up. Which, knowing me and my sticky fingers, I'm going to screw it up. No. Get away. Get away, Cataclax. Yeah. There's a lot of Cataclax because... Back away. Bad boy. There's a lot of Cataclax because if this watermelon even touches them... Shut the heck up. No. If this watermelon even touches their face or any part of their body, it will explode. And then you're going to have to go back up. And you're gonna have to go do it all over again. I got lucky this time. And I was super worried about this level. Giving me so much pain. Uh, I mean, personally, if you want my honest opinion, I don't think it's too terrible. But I agree when people say that the physics on this thing suck. Trust me, I've had it. I got lucky. I said this earlier. Take me one try or take me 20 minutes. Thankfully, it seems like the game was gracious enough to let me do it in one try. Which, honestly, I'm kind of disappointed. I was hoping for something funny to come out of this. But I guess this episode... Uh, the most you're getting is me chasing a red coin to the boundaries of the world. Whoa, now that's a big old watermelon like I've never seen. I don't even need to get out of the caliper for the- get out the caliper for this one. You win! Let's juice that son of a bitch and be done with it. I know, man. Scourling Swart. I know. Now, now, I, I wanna- I wanna show off something. This is a pretty short episode, actually, now that I think about it. Um... Uh, anything else you want to say, sir? Now I can make the best watermelon juice for the Shine Sprites! The yearly tradition is safe, thanks to you! Yeah, we saved this place. So, normally if I touch it, I take damage. Look at this. Mario is so powerful when he touches the Shine Sprite that he can literally withstand the blades of the juicer. It's crazy stuff, no. I, it's a crazy world we live in. But yes, that is it. That's all that there is to do. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. So, 
I was gonna save this for next episode in case things took too long, but you know what? We're actually gonna not start the next world, but we're gonna do something. We're gonna check out that little mechanism, you know? Give it a good stuff. These guys are screaming at each other. What are you guys screaming about? Back off! I know for a fact that you can't swim a stroke either. What the heck? Are these men fighting about what? I can't swim. Don't get all high and mighty with me. You swim like a stone. Oh, screw you, mister. I swim like a man, I'll have you know. I won the 1929 Olympics because it's a me, Mario. That you are right, Flood. The villain's secret lair must be there. Yep, we can already go to what I consider World 6 at this point. I believe you need 20 shines for that. However, you're not going to be worrying about that. Toadsworth, what do you have to say? No, 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 no. I can't imagine what the poor- I, I can't believe I'm giving you a deep voice. I can't imagine what the poor princess is going through. Mario, please save her. So Peach has gotten kidnapped once more. Uh, there's a secret one up here. You can, can grab this real quick. Free replenishable one up. Oh, we're gonna need it. We're gonna need it next time. Oh, that is for sure. That is for certain. So, yeah. We got through the rest of Gelato Beach. We did the freaking watermelon festival in one try, which honestly, I'm really amazed that we even did that. Um, and we have ourselves our next destination to chase Shadow Mario, the Peanut Island, aka Peanut Park. So, next time on Super Mario Sunshine, we are going to go in hot pursuit of Shadow Mario. See you guys then.